recently seen an article on uh, Facebook. It was CBC News, I believe. Uh, <laughs> talking about stink bugs. and It was kind of funny. In the comments, I see a lot of people are posting pictures and commenting about them. and So I thought I'd make a short video just to show you you really have nothing to worry about. Now, in this article, they said... Uh, they said they've been around since about 2015. I don't believe that to be correct because I've been here for over 20 years and we've had them here ever since I've been here. Uh, it started out with only a few. You'd see them now and again. And progressively, more and more every year. If, if you have them and you've seen one or two, well, those ones, they're like the ambassador stink bugs. They're sent there to your place just to get you used to them. Because progressively you're going to get more and more and then one day it's going to be like here. They were saying that, uh, well, where we are here in we're in British Columbia, um, Okanagan. Actually, more specific, we're in the North Okanagan. And they were saying they were in K-Town. Well, that's called Kelowna for people that don't know. Uh, that's more, I think that would be considered Central Okanagan. Well, Kelowna don't got nothing on the North Okanagan. The North Okanagan, we have stink bugs. So we're about as far north. The thing we have here that Kelowna doesn't have is a lot of trees. And what the actual name of the stink bug, I believe, is Western Carnifer, something like that. Uh, we just know them as stink bugs. After over 20 years, I'm kind of used to them now. But yeah. You find them everywhere because they like to go in cracks. Uh, usually, oh, yeah, there's tons of them in the fall. And they try to go into every little crack and crevice. This is a Toyota. It's built fairly well. They're, uh, I mean, they're sealed up good anyways. But uh, just check this out. This is just a example. Well, you can see the odd one. There's one here. Oh, and they, see, they, they kind of back off away from you. They don't really, they don't like people too much. There's one there. There's, oh, a whole party of them there. And as we go up, there, 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 there. You, they can get the idea. They're all over the place. And they actually get in. So <clears throat> what happens is you, you don't really notice them on you. You smell them way before you see them because usually you accidentally squish it or something or it's on your back or somewhere else. Uh, so you start driving down the road and you, you'll smell it. I mean, even if you look on, on the other side here, there's one on the seat. There's another one. So when you open the doors, they all fall down. So they end up on you or whatever else. Here's another one on the seat here. He doesn't like me. And they're kind of... What they remind me of actually is uh, a crop duster. Those planes that dust farmers fields if you ever see one let the stink go when it's flying it looks it's just like a crop duster it's they hold a ton of stink in them i don't know how they carry that much liquid but yeah you can see them crawling all over the floor and now this isn't so bad i mean they you get them on you every day it's a daily occurrence now they're not bad today i mean there's oh maybe a thousand or so here everywhere the thing that's really bad is i think within the last uh 
oh, the last four days, every single night, we've woken up to the smell of a stink bug in our bed. They just get there. They get everywhere. So like this, this crack here, that's about an eighth of an inch, maybe. And they get in these cracks. Now, I don't know how long they've been flying for, but they're terrible. They're terrible flyers. You see them flying and they, they're just kind of all over the place and they come crashing into you or they just go crashing onto the ground. They don't actually land, they crash. And once they're on somewhere, they're okay. But if you just give it a little flick, fall straight to the ground. Now, apparently these things, they came from Asia. Just another gift from Asia. <laughs> uh, I, I guess that would be our fault for buying all the products from Asia. They came over apparently on container ships or something like that. But I've never seen them worse anywhere other than here. This is the worst I've ever seen them anywhere. So unfortunately, for those of you that have a few and you think they're disgusting, well, probably should get to like them because they're here to stay and every year there's going to be more and more. It's what I've seen for the past over 20 years here. Oh, you want belly rub? Oh. Now, as far as uh, getting rid of them, well... The article says just kill as many as you can. <laughs> I've uh, I've shop vacked around the house, and I can get an ice cream pail full, throw them on the fire, and no, oh, two hours later I can go out and get another ice cream pail full. They just keep coming and coming. Don't they, Benjamin? You don't like them much either. Carcasses. Now, I don't know what the R value is, but as far as for insulation, they might be good. 